What's up you guys, John here, and in this video I want to tell you about the AER Compact 60 Tommy Emanuel guitar amp. This is my favorite amp for just gigging around town when I grab my acoustic guitar and I plug it straight in and that's my rig. Let me show you some of the features. A few things I love about this amp. One, the tone is amazing. It's also incredibly light. It comes with a cool carrying bag and it just looks rad. I love the design on the side and I love this TE CGP. This is the Tommy Emanuel certified guitar player. Let's look at the top panel here. To the left, we've got our input jack, which is just your standard like quarter inch input. And then next to that is this high and low. This is an input sensitivity selector switch. I usually keep this pressed in, which is the lower sensitivity for my guitar. And then next to that, you've got your gain knob, which is basically your input level control. This is your first stage of volume that you can control. Here is our color switch, and I usually keep this disengaged just because it sounds like a more natural acoustic sound to me when I'm playing acoustic guitar. Then you've got a really powerful three band EQ. And this is your bass knob here, your middle, and your treble. Depending upon what kind of music you're playing and what kind of guitar you're playing, you're gonna shape your sound. Bass is gonna turn up the lows. Mids is gonna be the sort of the center of the guitar. And then the treble is gonna be like the highs. So you're just gonna wanna adjust accordingly. Now keep in mind, this part to the left here is all channel one on the amp. Now moving on, we've got channel two, which is really cool because you have what's called a combination input and this can accept either an XLR or your standard quarter inch cable. So you could plug a microphone in here, like when I play gigs with my wife, she sings, she gets plugged in here, and then I get plugged into the first channel for quarter inch. And you have separate controls for each. You can push this button next to it that tells it whether it's a line signal or a mic signal, and you just select whichever one you're using. And then you've got a gain for the second channel, so this is going to control whatever you plug in here. And then you've got the bass and the treble, just a two band EQ for channel two. And then you've got an effect pan. And what this does is this is like a panorama control that distributes the effects between the channels. How I use it is let's say that I want more effect on a vocal than I do on the first channel, then I can balance it accordingly. Next to that, you've got this select switch, and this allows you to select between different effects that you can apply. So one is a short reverb, two is a longer reverb, three is a delay, and four is a chorus. The level knob is the level of the effect that you're applying. The master knob is a master volume that's going to bring both channels up that you're hearing in the room. So you're going to hear that coming out the speaker. This is really cool in that it's independent of what you're sending out the DI. So if you're sending a signal to the house, changing the master volume isn't going to affect that. Let's look at the rear side. We'll start with the line out. And the line out supplies a preamp signal taken after the tone controls, effects, and master. Underneath that, we've got the headphone output, and this enables you to connect just stereo headphones. Also, this mutes the loudspeaker. The send is an output to connect to an external effect or an effects loop. Underneath that, you've got the return, and that's part of the effects loop that operates as a signal input from the external effect device. What I have in here is a little uh, converter that goes eighth inch. So when I play my solo gigs, I actually plug in my iPod right here and when I take breaks I play music through the speaker right here so I just leave this little adapter in there. Next up is the tuner output and this supplies a pre-master signal to connect to an external tuner. You can also use a foot switch with this amp and you can trigger it to turn on and off your effects. To the right is this three prong XLR DI out. And this is what I use when I send my signal to the house, if I'm playing in a theater or a concert, or if I'm also just doing like a solo gig at a restaurant. Sometimes they'll take this output and send it around the restaurant so they're playing it through their PA. Mm -hmm. 